speak to the new Peterborough Youth MP about the importance of voting and see what the Youth Council's plans are for the future. We also catch up with a few members of staff and see what they've been up to with their pets and we also find out who the winner of the TikTok challenge was. And now for our main story. Back in February, years 9s, 10s, 11s and post-16 all took part in the Youth Parliament election in Peterborough. The elections were held on the 18th of February at the City Hall and thousands of other students voted along with Marshfields. The winner was announced as Noah Salahi, whom we congratulate. We caught up with Noah to find out more about it. Hello everybody, my name is Noah Salahi and I recently had the honour of being elected the MYP for Peterborough in one of the most successful youth elections this city has undergone, with a record breaking over 10,000 votes. I just wanted to quickly thank the School of Marshfields for taking part in this election and like many other schools, giving their students the right to have a say. It is so important that we give students the right to vote. Unfortunately, coronavirus is proving to be a hindrance in allowing myself and the Youth Council to progress with our plans, but we're currently in the midst of ensuring we have plenty to do once this is all over. This will include meetings and my four promised manifesto points of reforming climate change and ensuring that personal development lessons see the change that they need. Once again, thank you all for voting and I hope you're all safe. Thanks again for recording that interview, Noah, and we wish you all the best for the future. In our next story, although we're encouraged to stay inside during this lockdown, we're also encouraged to go outside once a day for exercise for an hour. This could be for a walk, a run or for a bike ride. As long as you follow social distancing rules and stay two metres away from anyone at all times that isn't in your household, then we really encourage for you to get out there and do some exercise, as it really is good for your mental health and gives you a bit of change of scenery for a little bit. Some of our staff have been showing us what they've been doing on their daily exercise. Hello everybody, Mr Sykes here. I got an email to say what did I like to do? Well, what, one of the things I do like to do when I come home from school or like when we're off now, I like to come for a walk around Cuckoo's Hollow because I live near Warrington. And this, year, this time of year is so special because it's spring. And if I turn this one round now, oh, I can't turn it round, but let's have a look, see if you can see it now there. There it is, can you see? Right in the middle of the reeds there is the female swan. And she's been sitting there for about two weeks now, so she's laid her eggs. And as you can see, the male swan is there behind her in swinging in the lake. She'll sit there now for another six weeks, about 42 days, uh, while she incubates the eggs. And last year, they produced about eight cygnets and as they did the year before. So I've been watching them for about five or six years now and they produce about that number every year. And they stay here with on the lake with the swans until about December time and then they kind of go. Now, the swans here, they mate for life, it means they're together for about 20 years. That's about the life expectancy of the swan. And so they will stay together with the same partner, the same mate, all that time. Good morning, Marshfields. Here I am, just about to do my daily exercise. And on my route this morning, I'm going to take some photos of landmarks. And what I want you to do is guess where I've been. See you later. guys I think I recognize some of those places what about you and now it's not only our staff that are having to put up with lockdown but their pets too and they decided to get in on the act
Say hello to the camera. Say hello for everybody. Right, we're going to give Scrumpy a bath. Because Scrumpy is very dirty and very smelly. He's just been from his room. they've been having lots of fun. In our next story, two weeks ago just before Easter we launched our TikTok challenge for staff to blind in lights. There were 16 members of staff who took part and they all did a great job and the competition was fierce but we'd like to announce the winner was <coughs> Mr Kavanagh. Unfortunately Mr Kavanagh couldn't be with us to speak to us so he sent along his assistant. Hey, this is Dexter. Mr Kavanagh can't be with you tonight to say thank you for this award. He'd like to say thank you to everybody for voting for him for the TikTok dance. So thank you everybody and bye bye from Dexter. Bye. Thanks Dexter. And again we'd like to congratulate Mr Kavanagh and thank all the staff who took part and everyone who voted. Next we'll go over to Mr Go to find out what the weather's doing. Good afternoon. It's a scorching 18 degrees today. Clear blue skies. Perfect weather to go inside. Back to you Lauren. Thanks Mr Go. Looks like it's another fine day to be out in the garden but make sure you've got some sun cream on. That's all we've got time for today on MFS News but before we go we'd like to wish a Ramadan Mubarak to all our students and viewers who are celebrating this month. I've been Miss Matthews. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Bye!